here I am Sunday morning working on my HD5. I'll have to admit it. I think the problem is water. Remember when I first started up, it started right away, ran a little while, and then quit. It was my own fault. If I would have come back here and opened up the petcock here, which is meant to drain water out of the tank, I probably wouldn't have had any problems, I'm thinking. Although I don't have it running again yet. But I just put a battery in it and uh, basically and checked the rack was free and it started up, but didn't quit in a couple minutes. Yesterday I started on it and I pulled the injector lines off there and water came out of them, nice clear water. So that's when I figured it was water. But oddly enough, yesterday the secondary filter housing would be here. When I took that off yesterday, there was very little water in it. But the injector lines uh, were completely full of water when I took them off. So the best I could surmise is there was so much water, clear water in the bottom of the tank from sitting over 30 years, that when I fired it up, it must have just pushed the water. It ran on the clear fuel in the filter housings long enough and then it must just push that clear water right through the filters and into the injector lines and stopped and by that time the water had gone through and the filter housing had filled back up with fuel again is what I'm surmising so I'm working at flushing out the system and trying to get it started again right now I have those two lines cracked loose at the transfer pump and I want to crank a little bit to get moisture out, any moisture out I can there. I shot a little fuel oil down in the holes where the injector lines go so they start to get some fuel and so there's a little fuel in those. Now I'm going to crank it over just try and get some water out of that transfer pump. Well, now I, I've fired it a couple times, cranking it over. Some fuel has dripped out of these lines, so I'm going to tighten them up. And yeah, off, lit the inside of the primary, or the first fuel filter. I'm going to clean that out and then hook it up and try to start to get fuel bled through to the uh, transfer pump. It's Monday morning now. And uh, in the last couple of clips I took yesterday where I had cracked those lines loose, I had cranked the motor a little bit. You saw it fire just a little bit with the ether. And uh, I'm confident that I think I got moisture out of that transfer pump. I was concerned about it freezing in there. That was my first concern. And then I showed you the primary filter housing with the ice in the bottom of that and dirt and everything and I cleaned that out good and then my tablet went dead but I continued to clean out the housings 
and bleed the system. And I got to the point where I got it to fire. I think it was on the number one cylinder only, and it would just keep running real slow on the number one. And, uh, and then I think it was the number two wasn't firing, but the plunger was going up and down. So, you know, I thought I, I pulled out the injector for number two. And most people say just take a new injectors, but if it ain't working the way it is, what am I going to do, wreck it? <laughs> so I decided, proceeded to take it apart, and you'll see that. See if I can clean it out and put it together and see if it'll work, because I haven't got anything to lose. I can always get new injectors.